Before the video starts, I want to give a shout out to Vangelis, who me and him record something at the Toy Fair for the Unicron review, but unfortunately the footage is now lost, I can't get it. So I just want to give him a shout out at least and a thank you for recording something, but sadly I cannot use that footage. <laughs> Apocalypse. I want rainbows and lollipops. Too bad, Shazam. You're getting one ants directed by Brian Singer. <gasps> Fix it! I can't. It's too late. He's already on his way. Oh gee, I wonder who's coming based on the title of the review. You mean that psychopathic plant-eating machine? Voiced by the late Orson Welles. Not Orson Welles! I've been looking into our options. It seems like there's not much we can do. Wait a minute, fuck that, I have an idea. That's not good, that's never good. Maybe if I review the Unicron figure that I just so conveniently have, maybe we can find a weakness. That's stupid. Shockwave, I know it sounds stupid and, dare I say, ridiculous, but sometimes you have to have a little bit of faith. Just like I have faith in this man right here. Our light, our lord, our savior. That's a picture of Mel Gibson. Yeah. Duh. Finally here! It's the Unicron, baby! Yeah! Unicron first appeared in the 1986 cartoon film, in theaters, mind you, so imagine the biggest thing in the universe on the big screen, and all the kids pissed themselves in fear while crying about the death of Optimus Prime. Also, this movie said shit! It's a kid's movie! Voiced by the late Orson Welles, his final role tore across galaxies, devouring planets and civilizations for his own need to continue. Since then, Unicron's presence has always hovered every alliteration of Transformers. Even when he doesn't show himself, you always feel he's somewhere in the universe, breaking shit, breaking real fucking expensive shit. A hell come to fruition, Unicron is not something you want to see in the distance. Also, he's got a ball with a gun. Yeah. This is Dead End. Later re-releases refer to him as Cranex, while Japan's releases refer to him as Dun 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 Bug. No! Not Bug! Tremble! I'm just gonna call him Dead End. No, he's not a stunicon anymore. He's just a ball with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> This is usually referred to as Unicron's moon, but actually in the show, these were drones, and there were many of them, more like the antibodies in Prime. You can add dead end to the crater above Unicron's mouth, hashtag good. There's a random rotation joint that's completely pointless unless it's meant to rotate like the top of the turret, but that's stupid. The gun moves up and down too. It's small and compact, but let's not take away the fact that it's a gun with a ball. Fuck! The transformation is amazingly complex, and by that I mean it's as simple as this thing. He's a very simple minicon, but he's not bad. Actually, with the gun arm and head, I'm starting to get a shockwave vibe. <sighs> also, this is a first generation minion. <laughs> Articulation is very basic, so don't expect some kick-ass poses. The gun on the one hand is kind of cool, but the other hand torments me. Is there something that's supposed to go here? Why do you torment me? Oh. Just a basic minicon, but at least it's not minicon nightbe. Why is this even? This spherical vagina with teeth is the chaos springer of all Transformers. Unicron transforms into a planet-eating cannibal with giant horns made to crush and secure victims with terrifying teeth to confirm your doom. There is no rest for the wicked, but I think he likes himself. Look, here, he put a ring on it. The massive ring that frames the figure can fit up to 24 minicons. That's insane! He doesn't need that many minicons. He could share with the rest of the class. Unless he's peacocking! Unicron can also attach minicons to his side, deploying these missile launchers. Go slow enough and you can launch them one at a time. Go quick and it's one giant blast. Though I found you don't really need the minicons for this gimmick. Speaking of gimmicks, if you move the pinchers, the mouth on the front opens and closes in a munching function. 
The back shows off a massive amount of robot kibble, but it's compact and shows a very perfectly firm butt. He can't stand properly unless you want to lay him down, but you can lean him against a wall or buy the stand 10 years ago. Nice colors, transparent plastic galore, and I'm not even cringing, a very awesome brute of a figure, but that's not all. Order now and you get a massive fucking robot. this thing! Look at this thing! This is the original boogeyman. Careful kids, this thing is hiding under your bed looking to scare the crap out of you for its own amusement. Let's just jump into it. Articulation includes a rotation at the head and once unlocked the head moves up and down, shoulders rotate and move out and in, upper arms rotate, elbow bends, hands rotate, the waist rotates, the legs move forward and back out and in, but you have to move the pedals to get them out of the way, bend at the knee, rotation below the knee for whatever reason, foot moves forward and back, heel moves, and the whole foot rotates side to side. But the best part of the articulation is the hands. Full rotation as mentioned, the thumb moves side to side, and each finger has two points of articulation separate from each other. The devil of Transformers can welcome you with a good bird. I'd show the articulation on this hand, but this finger broke and everything's rusted, so I'm just like, don't touch. Unicron has the biggest feet I've seen in a Transformers toy, yet he still manages to fall over. What kind of dark magic is this? The massive amount of kibble can be seen as an eyesore, but it doesn't feel out of place. Just wish the planet shells could tab in, however you can still sandwich them together. What purple? You get purple! What orange? You get orange. What green? You get Purple! With all this mass, you can find some sections with little bits of detail, though I wish more of the detail was picked out by the paint job. It's not overly lacking, it breaks itself enough, but that's just me nagging. HOMIE! Purple, red, and gunmill are used to remind you that this figure was made more than seven years ago. Man, the Unicron I picked up is actually a re-release of the Armada toy that came out for the Universe Classics toy line. Open up the crotch, which I swear there's a legit reason for doing this, and open up the abdomen to reveal bonus storage for a minicon. Open up the front of the legs to store more, and above, you can find two additional bonus minicon plugs on the shoulders, which can rotate because gimmicks! Speaking of the legs, you can rotate large portions, plug on the minicon, push it forward, and launch out the missiles! You can do this without the Minicon, but it's more fun with it. However, the highlight of the Minicon gimmick comes into play with Unicron's chest. Attach the Minicon to his back and watch the magic happen as the chest of the beast opens wide to reveal a giant missile with three sides that prong out as his eyes blink in the joy of killing innocents. You'll find no heart. ONLY DESTRUCTION! Unicron's blinking eyes automatically trigger during the process, but you can activate it by the press of the button on the top of the head. Ever wanted to see the eyes of Satan? Well, now you can watch him blink! Ooh! If that's not enough, he can WHAPUNCH you with a killing blow and then celebrate with a rave. Just press the fist and be hypnotized by the dazzling lights! <laughs> This figure is a long time coming, 1986 was the year of his debut, few prototypes in a series title Armada later and we finally got our big boss. Armada had so many disappointing figures with lacking articulation, terrible robot modes and... Armada Sideswipe. <laughs> it's kind of shocking to see that Unicron doesn't take that in. That's probably due to the fact that this design has been around since Generation 1, and Armada reuses most of the design, meaning that they had 20 years to conjure up this toy. With that many years to process how to make a fun toy for kids and adults to enjoy, you can bet that this figure was going to be good, and it didn't fail. Even to this day, this design works, and I know that because they recently re-released it. I always imagined what it would be like to get the Beast Wars Neo version, but I also
also imagine that being way too overly complicated, kibbly, and while the design looks great, I think we would need something closer to this. As I said, fun for kids and adults, making an impressive blend of everything that makes this toy perfect. Any gripes are basic nitpicks. This is an unstoppable force that will destroy us all. Literally, shit. <laughs> It's tight! The destroyer has come! The end is nigh! Prepare for oblivion! Tell my wife she doesn't exist, also I cheated on her. <laughs> Magnify. <laughs> he's more powerful than I ever imagined! Also, he's handsome! I am Unicron, the great destroyer! Yeah! Canadian reviewer! You've gotta fight him! The power is within you! You seen this? I will destroy all your Taco Bells, yay! How am I supposed to defeat a god? Feel your inner strength carried out from generations of reviewers before you. You, and only you, can defeat this evil! Wait a minute. I've got it! I finally understand now! You know in the 1986 movie where Hot Rod defeated him using the Matrix of Leadership? Yeah? Well, I just so conveniently have a Hot Rod in a Matrix of Leadership, so I'm just gonna punch him. Ah! You fought me for the last- you- you've not seen me for the last time, yeah! I did it! Punching is the answer! Fuck you, words! Congratulations! You saved us from Unicron and Sex in the City 3. No, there is no stopping Sex in the City 3. It's only delaying the inevitable. And on your 200th episode! 200, I think I deserve one small free coffee. Ah! Nonetheless, you have saved us all! We owe you our thanks and appreciation! You are a hero to us all! I'm just glad we don't have to deal with something terrible and everything will be good moving forward. Speaking of moving on, now that that is done, we can finally review Cybertron Hightail! Them off. I would escape to Africa with this guy, and now I just want him to love me. <laughs> Wait a second. These Kleenexes are making me thirsty. How shall I quench this? Oh, I know. Mm. 